about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions We're at Yuma Territorial Prison and State Park. There's Craig. Give us some history. Oh, we were talking about the wetland, Colorado before the dams. Colorado. Oh, interesting. Used to flood all the time, and hmm. oh, look at this, Columbia, so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What little hair I have left. <laughs> yeah. But today we went to uh, Yuma Territorial Prison. And uh, they let me out, thank God. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they I think it was uh, founded in, what was it, 1875? Yes. And uh, different sections were constructed and built and all that stuff through the years. But in 1910 it closed and they moved it to... Uh, the camera was called it somewhere else in Arizona, a larger uh, prison. And then the high school actually met here for four years while the, the Yuma High School was built. Yeah. Of all things. But uh, there actually was, over the time that was the territorial prison, was um, there were 39 women here. I mean, from anything from murder to uh, adultery to robbery, you know, whatever. I mean, some of them were pretty nasty women. Uh, I have some um, pictures that tell about the story of a couple of them and yeah, oh my goodness you oh wouldn't want to cross them. I mean, when, wouldn't want to be a man and cross no, them. No, I mean one of them <laughs> got mad at her lover or something like that or because he wouldn't dance with her or made fun of her or something and stabbed him and <laughs> cut open his chest and ripped out his heart. Um, <laughs> serious. So, uh, But uh, there was I think there was like 120 or 130 or something like that prisoners or 103 whatever it was that actually died here. Oops. Um, there we go. You know, consumption and whatever, the diseases. And, mm -hmm. uh, there was only one, that person that was actually hanged while he was still here, incarcerated here. Um, but uh, it was known uh, as the hellhole, mainly because it was so hot in the summer here that people, the cells, there were like six people to a cell, and they were only like, I don't know, six by six by six, I and mean, they were they were tight. The walls and all that stuff, the prison was built, Adobe, and uh, through the time there, but some of the first women that were put in there were actually ended up being pardoned after like 42 days because there was nowhere to put her. Yeah. And uh, they were having issues with all the male inmates, so they just went ahead and pardoned her after having her in solitary confinement for 42 days. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they, they actually call this the hole or dark dark cell or dark the dark cell yeah something like that we have pictures of it but they actually made it out digging out of the granite um, this entombed area where they put a uh, basically you know a cell in there and so if you're pretty obnoxious or doing whatever you got put in the, the dark cell a dark hole and I guess it was bad he got got fed bread and water once a day. Some of them were in there so, for up to a hundred days. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you'd get wacky because you were put in there with just yeah. basically your skivvies on. Yeah. Your underwear, nothing else. Crazy. And sometimes there was two or three of you put in there. Same little, was it 15 by 15? 15 by 15 cage, cage. in this yeah. dark hole and it carved was a, out. Was dark tomb type thing. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, but other than that, I mean, there was the, if you weren't a troubled prisoner, I mean, I, I don't think they had much issue except for the summer heat. Because they had bands that you can do. They had a library. They had one of the top 
or prisons anyway, but I mean medical facilities, hospital. And they call it, so. some call it the hellhole of Arizona and some others called it the country club of the Colorado because they had so many amenities and I mean, were well taken care of. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, you know, the prisoners didn't have flush toilets and electricity, but... Or, and bathtubs. And all that stuff. They had all that stuff for mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the guards and the right. people that worked it, not the inmates, of course. They, they were provided with a bucket. Six, six guys to sell in a bucket. Yeah, and one bath a week. Oof, in one bathroom. Be week. stinky. Oh, that would be. All you guys out there are RV in with one bathroom. Uh, at least you have a flush toilet. Can you imagine six guys in a bucket? Oh, no. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, other than that, the, here, the Colorado River, River's just over here. And what, that's, it's just beautiful. It is. They've really stepped up and uh, kind of saved this place. A lot of it got destroyed and torn down over the years. And, in 2010, the city of Yuma and a fundraising group raised $70,000 to bring it back and restore it and save it. Yeah, because they were so, going to shut it down. Yeah, because there were just no funds for it. But uh, it was good. So, if you're here in the Yuma area, something like that, you got to check yeah. it out. I think it was $8. $8. Uh -huh. uh, if you're military, if you're active or disabled, mm -hmm. military, I think it was 4 bucks. Yeah. And senior citizens, 65 plus, were $6. Six, yeah. So, so and um, some movies were filmed either here or um, inspired by this. Yeah. There were quite a few of them. I'll have a listing of them in the post down below. But yep. pretty interesting. Okay. Come check it out. There we are. There uh, we are. Get down there, get in there. There we go. We're in a wagon, <laughs> and we're going to prison. <laughs> we're going to prison. Oh no! <laughs> This was the old ferry landing down here. Along the Colorado River. They made the ferries on site here. And it was how they crossed the Colorado River until they built this bridge in 1915. From the guard tower on top of the original water tank. Quite a view up here.
There he is. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> you got out. Surprise, Boys, surprise. You don't have to come get me. I'm getting out. <laughs> no bailing today. You can see this from the yard here at the prison. Very pretty. Uh, anyway, we hope you enjoyed uh, the video of our time we spent at the Yuma uh, prison. Uh, we had a great time there. Um, uh, if you guys are in the area, make sure you go check it out. Uh, and with that... Um, just one disclaimer. One disclaimer. <laughs> I told him, let's just say a quick close to this. But that was back in January. Right. I put a disclaimer at the front of the video, but I did want to say that was in January before the whole vi virus thing happened. Right. So um, anyway, the we're, weather was beautiful yeah. and um, we had a great time. Yeah, and we're just behind on the videos and then with yeah. uh, some events that happened, which we'll follow up with an update, uh, put us even further behind. So we want to start getting these back out there. Um, as we start uh, hopefully traveling soon. Yes. Good hopefully. news. <laughs> so remember, every day is a gift. So don't count the days, but make the days count. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>